Now that Avengers Endgame has arrived and brought the Infinity Saga to a close, we have to wonder what villains could possibly fill the void left by Thanos? Who is twisted enough, ambitious enough, and fascinating enough to shape the next decade of the MCU? Well, here are a few worthy candidates. Onslaught is the ultimate fusion of mutant power. This villain was created the day a grief-stricken Charles Xavier used his powers to wipe Magneto's mind. At that moment, the darkest aspects of Magneto's personality transferred into Xavier's mind, merging with Xavier's own dark side and spawning a psychic demon of incredible power. By the time Onslaught took physical form, it had evolved into a being so powerful, it took the combined might of the X-Men, Fantastic Four, and Avengers to stop it. I mean, I want to see that epicness play out on the big screen. He may not be as inherently powerful as someone like Thanos, but Doctor Doom's boundless ambition and thirst for glory have often elevated him to become one of the most potent beings in existence. Like Thanos, Doom is a mighty villain whose only vulnerability is his profoundly damaged psyche. With his unique mixture of loathing and love for the Richards family, Doom will always be a Fantastic Four villain first and foremost. However, Doom has a pretty strong track record antagonizing other Marvel heroes. Arguably, his crowning achievement as a villain came in 2015 Secret Wars. When the Marvel Multiverse was obliterated, Doom created a realm known as Battleworld and ruled over it as God Emperor. Yeah, he's a badass in the comics, but his past live action appearances, not the greatest. Painful? You don't know the meaning of the word. Maybe the MCU will finally do the greatest villain in the Marvel Universe justice. Captain Marvel introduced us to the Kree and their never-ending war of conquest and expansion. And while Carol definitely sent them a clear, threatening message, they could still be major antagonists in Phase 4. We may not have seen the last of the Supreme Intelligence yet. Selene is a millennia-old mutant vampire who feeds in the psychic life force of others. This has allowed her to survive into the present and makes her a nearly unstoppable foe when she's powered up. She's battled the X-Men, both on her own and as a member of the Hellfire Club. And given her connection to the supernatural realm, she's a villain with a unique ability to unite the X-Men, Avengers, and Doctor Strange in one massive conflict. The MCU could even do its own take on the Necrotia crossover where Selene resurrects dead mutants in an attempt to turn herself into a goddess. That could be a way of bringing back dead fan favorite heroes as zombies. Avengers Zombies, I'm in! This powerful villain is infamous for having weaponized time itself. Kang the Conqueror, the mastermind who is ties to the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, and the Inhumans, fully travels between past and future and manipulates the course of human history for his own ends. He ruled in ancient Egypt as a god, and he lords over the distant future as an all-powerful tyrant. And no matter how many times Kang is defeated and seemingly killed, his mastery of time means there's always another version of him ready to strike the Avengers when they least expect him. King's a strong possibility. Time travel played a major part in Endgame and we'll likely see more of it in the MCU movies to come. Though it was confusing as hell. Also, it appears that Marvel is slowly building up to debut the Young Avengers. King would be a perfect nemesis for that team. So lots of options here. Who do you think should be the next MCU villain? Tell us in the comments section. And don't forget to check out our Avengers Endgame ending explained and our Avengers Endgame spoiler cast diving deep into the critical parts of the movie. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.